Hi everybody, Dan Oldman here taking a look at the feature race at Woodbine on Sunday. Let's throw up the field for the Grade 3 Seaway Stakes, carded as race number 8, 7 eighths of a mile for Phillies and Mares, 3 year olds and up competitive group, the rematch between the two, Super Escape, the 5 painting, they ran 1-2 last time out in the Grade 3 Trillium Stakes Super Escape was able to make the lead in that two turn test we take a look at the time form pace projector for this race however and we see a completely different story, the 6 sister Peacock is very fast out of the gate. I would expect her to make the running. Gambles Candy has speed in the inside post. She's going to show early foot, and I would expect her to be close to the pace as well. And if Super Escape is going to have to do it, she might have to do it from off the pace, which is just a little bit different than her usual running style. Not impossible, but just a little bit different. Let's talk about the field in post position order, beginning with the number one, Gambles Candy. And Gambles Candy is now getting back to doing what she does best, and that is sprinting on synthetic. Her most recent start was on the turf in the Grade 2 Royal North. Turf is just not her game, and the Royal North was just too tough for her. Her prior start in the Whimsical was her first race off of a long layoff. She ran okay there, tiring at the very end. I think she gained fitness off both of her starts, and I think she's cycling back to her best race in her third start back. Again, this is what she wants to do. I'm a little concerned about the seven furlongs. I think she may be at her best at three quarters of a mile. When she ran seven in the Bessarabian three starts back, she was run down by a Malfi Coast and painting despite setting moderate pace. Gambles Candy, big price on the tote, going to be close to the pace. Here's Super Escape. Let's watch her race in the Trillium last time out. Luis Contreras just got her right on an easy early lead. Super Escape almost went 25 seconds for the opening quarter mile while three lengths clear. You're just not going to catch a filly of that quality when she gets that kind of trip. And we saw a painting rallying in vain on the outside to get second. Now Super Escape has to turn back in distance. She's unlikely to get the same trip. Is she the horse to beat? Certainly off of that buyer speed figure. Certainly off the races she's run at Wood bind in the past, but I'm not sure how low I want to go on the tote on a horse that had a nice easy trip last time out and is unlikely to get that same scenario here. The number three is Miss Mosaic, and Miss Mosaic ran on turf last time out at Indiana Grand. She was beaten a nose. She's done good work over the poly track at Turfway. This will be her first start on Tapita. She's tried stakes horses once in her career. She didn't run very well that day, albeit with a tough outside post position. Miss Mosaic is going to be a big price in this race, and deservedly so. She is lightly raced with some upside potential. The number four is Another Time. Another Time was up close to the pace last time out when in against Super Escape, and she chased in vain. We saw Super Escape just run away from her in the stretch, painting rally to finish a second ahead of Another Time. Maybe turning back in distance will work for Another Time. She has done good work sprinting on synthetic in the past. As a matter of fact, she's won her last two synthetic sprints. I just wish she had kicked on a little bit more considering the pace scenario last time out in the Trillium. I do like her cutting back in distance. I think she's equally as good on synthetic and turf, and she can be a mid-pack factor. Here's the five painting. We saw her rally from uh, well off of the pace. Last, as a matter of fact, in the Trillium to get second behind Super Escape. I just didn't think she had a chance the way that race unfolded. And you look at trainer Josie Carroll over the years. She's 10 for 21 with a 387 ROI over the past five years with older horses going third off a layoff between six months and a year. Painting is making her third start off the layoff. Josie Carroll won this race in 2017 with Amy's Mesa going third off the layoff, moving from route to sprint, just like Painting is doing here. I think the turn back works for Painting, and I think she's going to get a much better setup than she did last time out. Five to two on the morning line for Painting, only off the board once in her career. Sister Peacock, the six, is the likely speed in this race, and she almost took them all the way last time out in the grade to Royal North on turf. And like the number one, she just seems like a better filly on synthetic than on the grass. She's a four for six lifetime on synthetic. She won going seven eighths of a mile in gate to wire fashion two starts back. Her first start off the layoff against moderate competition. If Sister Peacock can shake loose, she has enough quality to take these all the way. 
away. It's a tough spot. She has to run a faster race, but Sister Peacock's pace advantage gives her a slight edge. Charmaine's Mia is the number seven. Charmaine's Mia, another horse moving from turf to synthetic. I actually like her better on the turf. She was only beaten a length in that Royal North last time out on turf. Two back in the whimsical. She ran okay. Jean Elizabeth is just very, very good. That was a speed-favoring track, and Charmaine's Mia tried to rally into it. I do like her a little bit better on the turf. She is capable on synthetic. The distance is within her scope. And the number eight is Amalfi Coast. And maybe I made a mistake as we take a look at my selections for this race that I didn't upgrade Amalfi Coast because she was a very good three-year-old filly, especially going seven-eighths of a mile, the winner of the Bessarabian, and she looked good doing it. And she has excuses for both starts this year. Her first race was a two-turn seven-and-a-half furlong event on the turf, and she just had a terrible, terrible trip and was still running on in the end. And last time out, in the grade two Nassau, I just think she was up against it from a pace standpoint, and I think she was up against it from a class standpoint. I know another time finished ahead of her. I think another time had a slightly better trip. Amalfi Coast gets back to synthetic, draws outside. She'll be running late, turning back to seven furlongs. I'm scared that maybe... I should have put her a little bit higher in my picks. But as you see, I'm going with painting to turn the tables on Super Escape. I like her cutting back in distance, and I think she gets a better setup this time around in the Grade 3 Seaway. Race number 8 at Woodbine on Sunday is an approximate post time of 4.55 Eastern. Good luck.